Good morning. Today is Monday, March 22nd. For lunch today, there's cheeseburger on a bun with golden french fries, or chicken Caesar salad with whole grain dinner roll, or cheese pizza. Today is an A day for everybody in the building. And here are this week's recess rotations. Please note that today's Boys and Girls Club option is there for Ms. Brooks and Ms. Laner's advisories. And today, we're wishing a happy birthday to Carissa Cody in the eighth grade. Hope you have a great day. Hey, everybody. So today I'm out here at the Nakusa Fire Station because for today's video, I'd like to introduce you to two firefighters from Washington, D.C. The first person you'll hear from is Beatrice Rudder, the first woman ever to serve as a D.C. firefighter, who later became Deputy Fire Chief before her retirement. The second is the current Deputy Fire Chief, Queen Anune. So as you're watching this, pay attention for two things. Number one, what challenges did Ms. Rudder face as the first female firefighter? And number two, what supports did she and others in the D.C. Fire Department put in place for later women like Ms. Anune? All right, check it out. I am former Deputy Fire Chief Beatrice Rudder. I joined in 1978 and I retired in May of 2006. The gravitas of being the first was an evolving process. And as the years progressed, the responsibility became more clear. Starting at the training academy, um, I think I surprised some of the administration there who thought that I would not be able to perform the tasks. And in fact, I did everything that everyone else did and stayed within standard they sent me to one of the most active companies, Engine 4. I experienced a lot of misogyny, um, blatant acts of, of hatred. And then on the other hand, there were men who supported me and motivated me to do well. What they did not realize was that that negative reinforcement propelled me to do the best I could. We all slept together in one bedroom, uh, one dormitory. I come from a family with four siblings, so I just thought, okay, this is my family. There is nothing I could have done as a black woman that would change their mind. Those guys who used to spit at me when I walked past them, the guys who short sheeted my bed, uh, and all other kinds of pranks. Every time they did that, I said, thank you. I'm staying until your mouth is dry and you can spit no more, or you'll have no reason to spit. <laughs> it was such an honor to serve our citizens. Oh my God, and the most beautiful gift in my life, with the exception of my son. <laughs> Hi, I'm Deputy Fire Chief Queen Anune, and I've been with the department for 29 years. For me, it was totally different. I was the first class that had nine females in a recruit class at one time. Uh, we were from different parts of the city, different high schools, but there was a sense of warmth in seeing that many females. Fitzpatrick uh, was our instructor, so it immediately empower me to see that women can do things and be leaders and efficient at it. Very early in my career, I met this woman and she was at the top of her game. Uniform, impeccable, respectful, respected by everyone. When you mentioned her name, you knew she was capable. I started talking to her about upward mobility and she was never any nonsense when it came to what she expected of me if I were to make myself a, a public figure as a woman officer. And then our relationship grew to outside of the job. As I got to know her more, not through words, solely words, but through actions, I saw that she was at the pinnacle. The department is actually preparing women for leadership. 
in every area. We have a, a network called the Empowering Women to Lead. Uh, I've formulated the Women Advisory Council that's uh, comprised of mo mostly officers, but within our group, we're now trying to reach younger women uh, to replace us. I applaud you. I applaud you. I think you have done a marvelous job. And I'm going to do something personal here. The other day, we had a little bit of back and forth on the text. And I said to her, you carry this torch so well. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. That means everything to me, and you know that. You're going <laughs> to thank you. Cry. So much. <laughs> <laughs> this is International Women's Month, and I'm sitting by my mentor. I'm on fire right now. I, I hope this ignites a fire in the belly of anybody who watches it. The more you invest, the greater the return. In your quest to the top, don't forget to reach back because somebody needs you. All right, you're up. Question number one, what challenges did Ms. Rudder face as the first female firefighter? And number two, what supports did she and others in the DC Fire Department put in place for other women to come later on? And bonus points, what impact did it have on Ms. Anune enjoying those supports? All right, have a good one.